Stephen Barrett, barrister at Radcliffe Chambers. Uh, welcome to the programme. I, I suppose it's been the most interesting roller coaster ride of various investigations. And uh, we're now talking about various police forces as well. The Metropolitan Police deciding that one event broke the rules, something that many people would have considered to be a relatively low bar for events, but others didn't. Uh, what, what's their reasoning behind that, would you expect? It would be very interesting to know what the reasoning, what the legal argument of the Metropolitan Police is. Because none of this has made much sense as law. So there's a lot of politics going on, and you've just done the clip of Annalise Dodds doing politics. And it's not really ter been terribly edifying for the law, because the law was that the, the first lockdown was actually very strict. There was a very strict legal test for the first lockdown. All of this stuff happens in subsequent lockdowns. That's Keir Starmer's beer and the Prime Minister's birthday cake. And both of those are under a very loose, a uh, liberal legal test, which is called reasonably necessary for work purposes. And I've pointed out before that reasonably necessary is, is loose. That's, that's, that's quite broad. And work purposes is actually broader than just saying work, because, you know, Work purposes might involve all sorts of things. I'm a barrister. I use, or I did pre-pandemic, I used highlighter pens. If I go shopping for highlighter pens, then that's for the purposes of my work. So it's, it's, a, it's a lower bar. You know, Stephen went to, went to the shop and bought some highlighter pens. Oh, dear, tut, tut, tut. No, that would be reasonably necessary for the purposes of my work. So this, it's always been a very permissive task. And hmm. I'm not at all sure what has happened or how we have got ourselves into the situation where one police force has taken a much stricter approach than any other police force. Hmm. And I've made this point uh, to you before, and to, to your credit, you, you know, as a journalist, you, you engage with this and it's important. We literally can't do politics in law because law has to apply to everybody. So if one police force is going to investigate historic offences, then they all suddenly have to. And mm. if they all suddenly have to, then they all have to apply the same test. Now, this is why I've just always been consistent. The test is very permissive. By That's that stage, by the second, the third lockdown, actually the law had almost, I mean, I didn't go out and, and I mean, I overinterpreted the law myself. So uh, throughout the entirety of lockdown, as a barrister, I was technically an emergency worker. Now, I, this is a political opinion, because I didn't apply the law strictly to me. I just went, well, I don't need to leave the house, so I won't leave the house. And, but I was legally permitted to leave the house. And that, we need to wrestle with this. If politics is going to keep coming into law, it's got to obey by the rules that law has.